it so hard to stick to that diet or exercise routine? If those thoughts have ever crossed your mind, you're not alone. Researchers at the Science of Behavior Change are working to answer those very questions. SOBC researchers are using a scientific method to reveal how and why people sustain healthy behaviors. In the United States, chronic diseases account for seven out of every 10 deaths. And behaviors like smoking, drinking, physical inactivity, and poor diet account for approximately 40% of the risk associated with preventable premature death. A lot of work has been done to help people make healthy choices. But here's the problem. We don't actually know why something works or doesn't work. A lot of the research on behavior change has looked like this. You try an intervention and you see if it results in a change in behavior. But those in-between steps are all black box. We don't know what's actually going on for an individual and what's driving either successful or unsuccessful behavior change. At SOBC, we're opening up that black box and focusing on mechanisms underlying what works and what doesn't work. We believe that identifying these mechanisms will allow us to develop more effective and targeted interventions to promote successful behavior change. To do this, we're using a rigorous experimental medicine approach. This mechanism-focused method has three steps. Identify, measure, influence. First, identify a hypothesized mechanism driving behavior change. Second, develop reliable and valid measures of that target mechanism. Third, influence the target mechanism using experimental methods. Then, if a change in the mechanism relates to a change in behavior, we've successfully identified a mechanism underlying behavior change. To see this approach in action, consider the work of some of our SOBC network members. Dr. Allison Miller is working to help children eat healthier by focusing on mechanisms of self-regulation. Doctors Leonard Epstein and Warren Bickle are working to prevent the transition from prediabetes to diabetes by targeting a mechanism of delayed discounting. At SOBC, this work is being used to develop a measures repository available on our website. Scientists from around the world will be able to use this repository as their go-to resource for validated behavioral science measures. SOBC is embracing open science and placing rigor, reproducibility, and transparency at the forefront of all these efforts. That's why all the details for the SOBC projects are available on the open science framework. SOBC is funded by the NIH Common Fund in the office of the NIH Director. This isn't an isolated project, but an initiative with a far-reaching scope. NIH is broadly committed to these efforts, and that's why we're infusing the study of mechanisms of behavior change across NIH institutes, behaviors, and diseases to make a lasting impression on the field. To find out more, subscribe to our newsletter at the bottom of our homepage. This is a great way to learn more about job postings, funding opportunities, and the latest developments within SOBC.